been involved is working with students in student life. I've been an RA for two years, a university ambassador, a SOAR leader, a peer leader. Um, through all these things, I work with a broad range of different students, and I'm able to understand their needs and concerns. Um, I currently serve as Director of Public Relations with SGA. Uh, as Vice President, what my job is, is to run Senate. Uh, I believe my experience with working with lots of different students, I'll be able to work with Senate in a great way. I know how SGA works, and Senate works in general, um, and both of those things put me in a great position uh, to be Student Body Vice President. And as I said, I'm Orlando Hodges. I served my freshman year as a member of Senate, uh, and my sophomore year as the Director of Administrative Information Services and this year I'm currently your student body president. I think with the experience that I've gained in those roles, I sit in the best position to be student body president for next year. I've learned a lot this year in Senate. It's been a great year in Senate. Uh, we passed a lot of great resolutions benefiting the lives of students. We've gotten a lot, of great, a lot of great work done and worked on a lot of other things in other areas besides resolutions that have also helped students. So with the experience I've gained and the things that I've seen, I feel once again that I'm in the best position to lead the student body next year. We look forward to answering more of your questions. We'd like to spend a quick second on one of our platform ideas to kind of give you an introduction, and we'll move to uh, the questions. Uh, one of our ideas is to increase community presence. Have you guys been to Mizzou? Um, and it looks like the city of Columbia is kind of extension of Mizzou. We feel like Missouri State is the largest university, uh, second largest university in Missouri, and you don't see the presence of Missouri State until you get to Missouri State in the Springfield community. What we want to do is put representation on city council, increase signage, uh, just work to have that community presence made in the Springfield community uh, so that Missouri State isn't just spirited in Missouri State, but also in the Springfield community. And another one of our ideas is to start this program with the bookstore. We're going to call it simply the bookstore discount program. Uh, the way it would work is your first semester you buy from the bookstore like you normally would, but every semester after that you put a discount bigger than the previous semester, so it'd be tiered, if that makes sense. And so that's really great for two reasons. One, you save money, that's great. Secondly, it's great because it allows students to spend money on campus, which is important because when you spend money on campus, it benefits us as students, in the form of scholarships, have improvements, that kind of stuff. When you spend money off campus, it goes to benefit people's pockets. So it's great to spend money. I'm sure most of you are wondering how Tim and I came to be up here talking to you guys about why we want to be president and vice president. And actually, we are currently not in SGA due to other academic requirements and leadership positions that we have in other organizations, but we've kept up on what's happening in SGA through our friends and through members of SGA currently, as well as the standard and other means of being kept in the loop of what's happening. And it came a time when we realized that SGA needs new leadership and they need fresh faces, which is exactly why Emmett and I decided to run. Well, she said we're not in SGA right now, but we think that's an asset to our candidacy because over the past year, we've been involved with a bunch of different organizations getting new leadership experiences that you don't necessarily have in SGA. We feel we can bring these new leadership experiences to SGA and make it that much stronger. We've also been able to avoid some of the political battles within that may be slowing some progress. We think we can come in, get over that hump, and make SGA a stronger organization. Emmett and I are leaders on campus. That's been proven through all of the organizations that we've helped start, as well as organizations that we didn't help start or we're currently always a part of. We have had leadership skills and we know how to lead organizations with a great combination of fun, being energetic, knowing how to be professional, and get things done. We believe that this is a winning combination that SGA needs. Now we know we can do the job. We know we can make SGA work. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Not only has Chris been active in Phi Sigma Pi honor fraternity, um, he also started his own student organization on campus, Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Missouri State University. He also currently serves as your Director of Student Affairs in SGA. Um, in addition to all of his service on campus through extracurriculars, he's been on the Dean's List every single semester that he's been at Missouri State University. And this lovely lady to my right, Ms. Lindsay Brownsberger. She's actually a member of Zio Mercata Iota Sorority, as well as Beta Alpha Psi Business Honors Fraternity. She currently serves as Speaker Pro Temp of the Senate, which is the only Senate elected position in all of the Cabinet. As well, she has also made the Dean's List every single semester since her freshman year. Chris and I feel that Missouri State University has a goal to, provide, to produce educated persons whenever we graduate from this university. We feel that we can help in that goal by um, providing a vision of creating a balance between effective resource management as well as new project implementation. Um, we realize that um, we're not going to be spending our money. We're
we're spending your money. Each of you pay into the SGA fund, and we want to use that to the best of your ability and our ability by cutting frivolous expenditures while still implementing new projects. Um, some of our platform ideas include an off-campus housing fair and bringing in um, graduate professional testing preparation. As well, those are just a couple of examples that we have on our platform. But without your voice and your votes, uh, those might never happen. So it's really important that we're going to bring our own ideas. We feel that that's important. But what also is maybe even more important is bringing your ideas and actually keeping an open mind and listening to those to making your ideas become more effective and get into place. You have three very different tickets sitting up here before you. Chris and I feel that we're the perfect balance in between both extremes. One candidate is running on um, all the experience they have, and the other candidate is running on uh, bringing in a new fresh and new faces ideas. Chris and I feel like we're the perfect balance between those two. We have the experience in SGA and on campus to back up what we're doing. We also have shown you that we can bring in new ideas.